All right, guys, Traveling Blade here, back again, back again for another home vlog. Tonight, League Cup action against Wrexham. Wrexham, we've had a couple of grudge matches with over the last couple of seasons. You know, I think for me, it all started out when they posted that photo thinking they were gonna, they were like destined to get Spurs in the next round when they had a replay against us. Obviously, Egan forced the late equaliser, then they came in good numbers to the lane where um, I think they scored a pen and then Davies saved a pen and I think we ended up winning 3-1. And Billy Sharp, as ever, was giving it a bit of that afterwards towards Parky. So yeah, we've had a couple of good matches against them. There's not really a rivalry. I think it's a bit forced and contrived now, really. But um, yeah, a bit of recent history, I guess. But it's just the first round of the League Cup, so there's um, very, very little at stake. Um, we usually do really poor in this competition anyway, so there's every chance we'll lose tonight. There'll be um, heavy rotation from last Friday night, I believe. It was a good performance last Friday, but obviously, that was our first team, so we're going to have quite a few rotations, I guess. Um, will we see Tyrese Campbell come out? I probably won't start, but the, I don't know if we got him in, in time. I don't know what the uh, things are, but it's been nice to see him come out. Suter we didn't see yet. Uh, I don't know if McCallum's injured when he play. Um, will Bruce start? Not sure, maybe some of the younger lads, maybe Peck. Maybe Peck will start, maybe Peck will come on. But yeah, it'll be a heavily rotated side. I'm sure Wrexham have travelled in good numbers. And uh, let's see if we can get another episode dedicated to us on Disney Plus. You fell on my senses like a gallon of magnets, like a packet of wood pines, like a good pinch of snow, like a night out in Sheffield. Oh! 
the city's through, so there's definitely going to be an own goal. United 4, Wrexham 2 ended up being a fairly comfortable result in the end despite us going 1-0 down in the first place um, and having some shaky moments in the back so we threw to round 2 of the League Cup um, obviously it was a heavily changed like, well, like we predicted um, a heavily changed side you had the likes of um, Boys, I think Harry Boys, Harrison Boys starting uh, Sariki, Koulibaly, Heck, Hampson is it Hampson or Hampton? I can't remember Louis Marsh um, I thought a lot of those players started really brightly, like uh, Hampson, Marsh, uh, Sirigi, uh, Peck, who had a great game, obviously one man of the match, and rightly so, if we're being honest. Um, but I also thought that, like, like I said, Marsh, Sirigi, and uh, Hampson also started really brightly, maybe sort of faded a little bit towards the game uh, as the game went on, but did start really bright as well. I thought Boys was pretty decent, to be fair. Uh, Suter had a brilliant game as well. What a unit he is, and actually... Uh, <laughs> Obviously, you know, Berger was a fairly sizable player, but never knew how to use his size. But it looks like Suter does know how to use his size and um, could be a real asset in the box going forward. And um, I know when we lost McBurney, I was thinking he was always really good at being uh, throwing in those defensive headers. But I think now if we've got Big Kiefer and um, Suter um, to name two, uh, hopefully we should um, be strong in both boxes. It ended up being quite a comfortable game. Like I said, we went 1-0 down. Poor defending from a corner. I don't know if it was um, Trusty or something that lost his man. Brewster, oh, I, I I think it's just incredible. It's got to be a social experiment now. He had that brilliant chance that he just sort of cannoned at the keeper. Um, obviously, he then went on to um, miss the penalty. Um, he took the penalty from Marsh. Then the keeper saved it and then it bounced out to Marsh. That's just the karmic skills rebalancing, to be fair. Uh, then, obviously, he thought he got the goal. Well, he, he turned it, well, he didn't turn it in. He crossed it into the box and it came off, um, I can't remember the name of the Wrexham defender, but just went in, the, went in the net off of his shin, um, went down rightly so as an own goal. Obviously, we then pulled one back. Obviously, it was actually Trusty. Um, I remember perhaps at fault for Wrexham's first goal, but Trusty with the header, we all started cheering and then we're thinking, oh, it's been cleared off the line, can't believe it. Uh, then the ref pointed to his watch and yeah, the goal stood. So a bit anticlimactic for him. Trusted with his first goal, but obviously got us one back. Uh, so in the second half, Brewster got a bit of space, ran down the wing, squared it in, got the rebound. Then um, Slimani caused a bit of trouble in the box to get fouled. Slimani had a, another OK game, to be fair. Obviously got the fourth goal as well, fired into the roof of the net from close range. Uh, but yeah, I think mainly, you know, the likes of Suit and Peck. Peck was brilliant, just really good, putting in some good tackles, some good passes, good dribbles, really sort of quite a commanding performance in the middle of the park by Peck. So... Really promising to uh, see that from him. Like I said, some other bright sparks out there as well. Shame about Sariki, I thought he was playing really, really well and then came off injured. So it was a real shame to play that. Um, uh, to see that, you know, he was doing brilliantly. Um, hopefully we see more of him, maybe for the younger sides, brought on as a sub. Uh, maybe in some of the other cup games going forward, hopefully his injury is not too bad. Cooley ball, it wasn't his night, I'm afraid. Not his night, so... Maybe a couple more games in the youth teams um, and see how he goes from there. But wasn't his night last night at all. Gerbic, as ever, bomb scare at the back. Some really shaky stuff here and there. Just putting the... Um, making the defence nervous, to be fair. Making the defence nervous, not commanding his area, not knowing whether to come out or stay back. 
pulled off actually a couple of good saves towards the end though, which was a sort of to some ironic, sarcastic cheers. QPR at home on Saturday, which I won't be at, but then um, we've got a really good bit of a good test away at Norwich the weekend after, which I will be at, so I'll see you there. Anyway guys, I'm in the Travelling Blade and I'll see you for Norwich away.